Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in to another week's video. We hope you had a chance to catch our girls do their Easter performance praise dance. If not, the video's up. Go check it out. This week we're doing another homemade recipe. Homemade Cinnabons. Let's get it. Alright, to make your homemade Cinnabons, you're going to need these seven ingredients and a baking dish. Uh, we're using Princess House, uh, but you know, a regular store-bought aluminum or any Pyrex that can fit the Cinnabons will work. Alright, from there you're going to go ahead and pop open your store-bought cinnamon rolls. We're using Pillsbury for this recipe. You don't have to use Pillsbury, but you can. Uh, you're going to go ahead and put them in your baking dish. Make sure you leave space in between because they are going to expand as they begin to bake. Alright, and then my OCD kind of kicked in, so I had to kind of make sure they were all turned the same way. The one that's actually flipped upside down, as you see, I flipped it. Um, so you're going to go ahead and grab your stick of salted butter. I'm sorry, unsalted butter, and you're going to melt it. Uh, you're going to go ahead and get your brown sugar. Light brown sugar is what I use, but you can use dark brown sugar as well. You're going to go in with three heaping tablespoons uh, into your melted butter. Now uh, you want to get this in fairly quickly and you want to kind of mix it quick because the heat of the butter is going to cause it to clump and you don't want it to clump because then you're going to have a clumpy mixture. We don't want that. Um, so you're going to go ahead and mix it in. Then from there you're going to grab your ground or powder cinnamon no sticks i mean if you have a grater you can do it that way if you want to be real fancy but i'm already using the one that's already grounded um go ahead and mix that in now you see how you got that uh, dark brown color that's what you want from there you're gonna get the heavy cream and you're gonna pour it into your baking dish all that's gonna really do is just fill in between the spaces it's gonna absorb into the cinnamon rolls when they're baking and give them a nice fluffy consistency if you've ever made these pre-made ones that, that that are in the container you know they always come out tough um so you don't want that you use the heavy whipping cream to kind of give it that fluffiness you're going to take your brown sugar butter cinnamon mixture and you're going to just going to dab it on top of each cinnamon roll like so um right now while you're doing this make sure you've already started to preheat your oven because you want it at about three 100 to 325 depending on your oven um i would always say try to go to the lower end and just bake it a little bit longer versus going higher and then not baking it long enough or baking it too long and then it burns if you know me you know i love vanilla extract so you know it's going in it's a baking dish it's a dessert dish uh vanilla extract going in just a couple of drops in between bomb goes in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes you know, keep checking, check on it after about 10 minutes, see if you need to adjust the time. Um, but 15 to 20 minutes should do. From there, you're gonna get your one third cup of confectioners or brown sugar, add in a couple more drops of vanilla extract, a splash of milk, and you're gonna mix that together. Um, this is gonna be the start of your homemade icing base. Um, put that aside because you're gonna use both icing, you're gonna use the one that comes in the container, and you're gonna use that one. As you saw, I did add a little bit more uh, heavy cream to this. Again, it gives it a, a nice, fluffy consistency. Um, you're not going to see me do it in the video because I forgot to record it. My bad. Um, but I did add a little bit of that butter brown sugar into the uh, icing, homemade icing mixture. I'll show that later on. That's the store-bought icing. And you're just going to, as soon as you take them out of the oven, drizzle it on. As you can see, it's still hot. They're still bubbling, right? So you're going to go ahead and drizzle on the icing. Um, I didn't even take the time to scrape it all out. I just used it as poured it as I could. As soon as it was done, I put it down and I grabbed my homemade icing mixture and I just drizzled that right on there on each one. All right. Look at that. Now you see the colors change from the white I had it earlier. That's because, as I said, I did add in the uh, cinnamon butter brown sugar uh, mixture. All right, boom, you just go ahead and let that cool and enjoy. I'll go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think. I personally feel like it's better than the store-bought one, and it definitely costs a lot less. Oh, here comes the money shot. Look at that. Tell me that don't look good. Go ahead and try out that recipe. Let me know what y'all think. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching.